Thank you. And many thanks for staying with us. So the Supreme Court has nullified President Uhuru Kenyatta's re-election and ordered for fresh polls within 60 days. But who will participate in the next polls? And what is the future of the Wafula Chabukati-led electoral body, IBC, which the court ruled presided over a shambolic election? Political affairs reporter Murimi Mwangi now interrogates. <laughs> As the countdown officially began to the 60 days within which electoral body IEBC has to conduct fresh presidential polls, <laughs> the commission chairman Wafula Chebukati gave the latest hint yet that his lineup of commissioners could remain the same. I listened to the Supreme Court judgment and I didn't hear anything about the chairman of the commission in regard to what happened in the last election. But a major legal tasso could be cooking outside the Uhuru Kenyatta Raila Odinga kitchen cabinets as pundits digest a rather not so talked about Supreme Court finding. I am present. In response to a question raised by Attorney General Professor Githu Muigai in 2013 on who should be cleared to run in fresh elections. It is everyone who would want to, come to join the address. Uh, uh, is at liberty to do so. It is the petitioner and uh, whoever was pronounced president-elect that will participate in this uh, fresh election. On paragraph 292 of the Supreme Court ruling in the Odinga presidential petition of 2013, the retired Chief Justice William Utunga Bench ruled that, I quote, if the petitioner was one of the candidates and who had taken the second position in the vote tally to the president-elect, then the fresh elections should be confined to the petitioner and the president-elect. In the present scenario, Kenyatta had been declared president with 54% of the votes cast. Followed by Odinga with 44%, going by the 2013 Supreme Court verdict, then only Odinga and Kenyatta should be cleared to run in the fresh polls. But still, any party aggrieved with the outcome of the fresh polls can petition the president-elect's win at the Supreme Court within seven days from the date of declaration of winner. But the IEBC is facing what is arguably its toughest test, preparing for fresh polls in 60 days. Within that limited time, IEBC has to tender for the supply of fresh ballot papers and to seal the loopholes of electoral fraud unearthed at the Supreme Court. <laughs> Pandits argue the real test for Chebukati and company could be likely credibility questions raised by the now emboldened National Super Alliance. There may be uh, some sort of reforms that will be called upon um, to, uh, to the personnel of IBC to be removed just like happened last time. IBC chairman Chebukati Aende Nyumbani Ajiuzulu Leo, Chiloba Ajiuzulu Leo, Sisi Hatusemi Chiloba, Atiamekua Chilobei, Tunasema Chiloba Amekua Kutoka Leo, bye bye Chilobai, bye. There will be issues on the processes, there will be issues on uh, 